Hello and welcome. In last video we talked about the buttons. We did some touch buttons in WinCC V7. Today we will talk about the text inside WinCC V7. I prepared one screen where we can put some script. We will use today the Visual Basic script and we want to make the text file using the button using the Visual Basic script. We go to standard, we put some button. Let's say it will be create file. So this button should create for us the script. We go to Visual Basic Script Action. Okay, now we need to write the script that help us to make the text file. We need, for example, the text file path. So we can make the dim file path. Inside file path, we need to put some position inside our computer. So let's say it will be test dot text, and this is the string. In VCC, we have the full Visual Basic positions. So we can, for example, create some object. We need to set, for example, object so set, and it's create object. And if you put the create object, we can make the scripting. And in scripting, library we have the file system object object now we have the object fco so we need also declare this so we have the path and we have the object So, after this, we can make the opening the text file to, to write something. So, we need to make the next object, for example, FSO second. So, we, ne we need also prepare the object and now we have the object about the file system object and now if we put the dot we have the option open text file so we can create text file create folder but today let's create some open text file so if my file is here in the file path the second is what we want to do with this file so we have positive options we can open this file to read data the second is if we want to open this file to write data and the last is for appending data so let's make some options one is for read, two is for write, and eight is for append data. So if we put here the, for example, two, because we want to write data, we can make this with this. And the last option is true. Now, we have FCO second, so we have opened file, so we can this 
make the right right line so our line can be put here for example test 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 now after we opened this file we need to close this file so we need to close the last we should also make the storage free for future use so we don't mm, lose uh, the memory for future scripts so we can make the set fco is nothing and the same we can make with fco second object so now we have the declaration we have the path for our file we have the scripting file system object we set the file we want to open to, to write data and we write the line test 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 after this we close this file and we make the memory free let's check the syntax ah so we need to put second okay no errors okay now if you run this button we make the create we go to this and we have on disk the test.txt so if we open the edit we have this after we click few times this our file will still look the same so we can also make the option to append data so we can put the name append data so if we put the visual basic script to 8 option and anytime we push the button with right line we should see the new line we need to refresh this window we go back to file after we put here we have still one line yes but after we put the append data we go to test and our test should look different we see the lines every one click is up and data to our system so okay we have few lines now if we put the create file so we make only one and in our file is only one line this script file object is very useful if you want to write some data into files for example text or for example csv and in next video i will show how to make the exporting data using this kind of script into csv from wincc v7 if you like this don't forget about the subscription because i see in my channel 80 percent of user doesn't subscribe if you like this keep your mind that subscribe this channel and see you in wednesday Bye.